Hi, I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley group of parishes. Welcome to our service of Compline. That's the ancient office of night prayer for this Wednesday evening, the 24th of June. Today we celebrate the feast of the birth of John the Baptist and it is also an ember day. So we think about all those who in normal circumstances would be ordained at this time of year. Their ordinations this year have been postponed, so we pray for them at this difficult time. But a little more about uh, John the Baptist. The biblical story of John, the son of Elizabeth and Zechariah, begins even before his birth. His leaping in his mother's womb is seen as a great alleluia in anticipation of the birth of his Redeemer, and the good news of Jesus Christ is related in all four Gospels as beginning with John as Christ's forerunner. He seemed to have a predestined role akin to that of the Old Testament prophets, particularly in encouraging the people of God to live lives worthy of their calling and in imminent anticipation of the coming of the Anointed One. In the tradition of the early fathers, John was seen as endowed with grace from before his birth and consequently the Church has always kept the celebration of this day with greater solemnity than that of his death. So let us just take a few moments of quiet as we come into the presence of God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day and bring before God all those things, people and places on our hearts and minds. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. We listen now to the evening hymn before the ending of the day. And this evening when I can find it. We will listen to uh, Ante Lucis Ante Terminum from the Exxon Singers.
as I say, that was from the Exxon Singers from 2013, directed by Richard Wilberforce and from their album Before the Ending of the Day. Now, a psalm this evening is Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, Make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, Slay my enemies, and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And our scripture reading this evening comes from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 13, 35 to the end. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me. Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And we come to a time of prayer. So let us pray. Almighty Father, we pray to you that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. We pray to you that the work we have done and the work we have yet to do and the people we have met and the conversations we have had this day may bring us closer to you. We pray to you that we may hear and respond to your call to peace and justice, praying for our world in all its frailty and all who live here, especially for those who suffer in any way. We pray to you that you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious, those who are ill and in need of your healing touch, especially those who have asked for our prayers, and indeed all those who are known only to you. We pray for those who grieve the loss of a loved one, and may those who have died, <clears throat> including David Legg, Annie Bailey, Doreen Squires, Baby Daisy May, Lynn Dow, Catherine Embleton and George Seedhouse, may they rest forever in your loving arms. We pray to you for all those who live or work in Sycamore Road and Tame Bank, Kingsbury, Orchard Close in Hurley, Tamworth Road in Woodend, and Hipsley Lane in Baxterley. We pray to you that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray. Amen. We pray the collect for this day. Almighty God, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way of your Son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance, lead us to repent according to his preaching and after his example constantly to speak the truth boldly to rebuke vice, and patiently to suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us conclude our prayers by saying the Lord's Prayer in its traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And our concluding words this evening. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, 
for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for Wednesday the 24th of June. Thank you for joining me. I wish you all a safe, peaceful and quiet night and look forward to seeing you again tomorrow eight o'clock. Take care. God bless.